customer called about a 400 amp service from a storm that had just rolled through. If this was installed right, it never would have happened. Yes, the hub and conduit would have been tore off the house, but the entire meter should never come off like that. Honestly, if it rips off like that, it should take the whole wall down. It's pretty obvious it's that it was never attached to any studs. It was just attached to the boxing. And something this heavy should always be attached to the studs. That being said, this was an emergency call. It was done on a Saturday, so I was pretty limited on the parts that I could get, but I still had enough to rebuild this meter bank. It wasn't something that we would have redone anyway as far as replace the whole meter bank. The biggest issue with this service was obviously it got ripped down, so all of the conduits that were in incentric knockouts were pulled through. So I had to loosen everything that was in there, pull everything back out so that I could put reducing washers in. Also, when that happened, it kind of nicked the wires, and so I had to inspect all of that, make sure everything was good to go. Otherwise, I would have had to replace the wires, but honestly, there were some dinged up. One needed taped. I still couldn't see any of the conductor. So I was okay with just patching it with tape and then putting it back together because, like I said, I didn't see any of the conductor. If I would have, I would have just swapped the wire out. Some of you might be wondering why I didn't replace the meter, and it is my discretion. I'm the professional here, but honestly, I don't like to charge customers when I don't feel it's necessary. I kind of look at it as a situation if it was my house, and I felt like if this was my house, I would do exactly what I did in this video, which is usually how I like to work. So I was able to save them some money by not replacing the whole meter bank, and also get them back to going and have power in this fourplex in a situation on a Saturday that was probably not very likely. I did have to replace the service wires in this situation. Also had to replace the weather head. The weather head actually broke when it hit the ground and the service wires were, as you could imagine, nicked to a point where I couldn't reuse them. Here I am torquing all the wires on the service. The most sketchy part is coming up where I had to makeshift my own hub with a Myers hub and the blank that was in the meter bank. And then the other part was use a 4 and 11 16 blank and silicone it tight to keep all the water out so that I could reorder the parts. <laughs> 